Hi and welcome to Synapse. So this is going to be a real quick video in which uh, I shall describe the electrolyte imbalances and disturbances that occur in a case of benign pyloric stenosis. So let's begin. Benign pyloric stenosis. Okay, so we have uh, come across this in uh, pediatrics, in medicine, even in surgery, and we just tend to memorize and by heart the electrolyte imbalances. Okay, so now let's see what really is the underlying mechanism and how the electrolyte imbalance will occur so that you never have to memorize it ever again so because you'll know the logic behind it. Okay, so let's begin. So what really happens is, this is let's say the stomach and uh, this is the pylorus. So there is stenosis here so there is an obstruction causing a gastric outlet obstruction okay so now what really happens because of that is that the contents in the stomach tend to regurgitate so the patient will have vomiting so what happens because of excessive vomiting is you lose H plus and Cl minus simple stomach has acid so the acid is thrown out uh, uh, when you vomit so you lose H plus and you lose Cl minus so let's write our first electrolyte abnormality here that is hypochloremia so this is pretty simple to understand so now what really happens is that you're losing H plus right so the body is losing acid so the body is becoming alkaline so there's alkalosis in the body okay so what you want to do is you want to compensate and you want to throw away the bicarb so that you reduce the alkaline content in the body right you want to throw away the bicarb where in the urine okay so what happens when you throw out bicarbonate in the urine so for charge neutrality along with your bicarb goes your na plus okay so your sodium is also lost as a result you will have transient what is the next electrolyte, imba electrolyte imbalance we have we have hyponatremia simple okay so we have hyponatremia so along with sodium you know what goes water goes always sodium and water are friends so there is also dehydration okay now what happens is body realizes no we needn't we shouldn't be throwing out so much of sodium. What what you will try to do is conserve sodium. And we all know from our physiology that when you want when the body wants to retain sodium, instead what do we throw out? We throw out potassium and H plus in the urine. So this is thrown out in the urine. Okay, so this is pretty simple. You, if you got a doubt in this, just go back, check your physiology textbooks. You know that body, whenever wants to retain sodium, will throw out potassium and H plus in exchange for sodium. Okay, fine. So now what electrolyte imbalance do we have? Pretty simple, hypokalemia. Okay, now you got to notice one uh, important thing here that body is alkaline, okay, but we're throwing out acid point is we got to retain acid isn't it but we are throwing out acid in the urine so that is called paradoxical because this is not normal because that's not expected okay that you lose H plus when there's actually alkalosis in the body so that's called paradoxical acid urea because you're losing H plus in the urine simple so that's that and also we got to add one more thing what really happens is when the body is in this state of alkalosis the uh, calcium okay the ionized form of calcium will reduce the ionized form of calcium is going to reduce as a result uh, not really uh, you'll not you'll not really lose uh, calcium but there will be a state of hypocalcemia in the body because of reduced ionized calcium so because of that that you can develop tetany also so that's it this is these are the set of events that ha happen or occur in case of pyloric stenosis so if we go to number it from the beginning let's say first you're going to have hypochloremia body is in a state of as alkalosis so you don't want to uh, sorry you you uh, want to throw away the bicarbonate so you increase bicarbonate excretion in the urine along with bicarbonate goes your sodium so you'll have transient hyponatremia and body will realize no it's not good 
throw so much sodium so it will try to conserve uh, sodium sodium and water retention will occur next step is that in exchange for sodium you're losing potassium and you're losing H plus as a result you'll have hypokalemia and there's something called as paradoxical aciduria and one more important thing you need to remember is in the state of alkalosis there is reduced ionized calcium so you could have a phase of tetany as well now at the end of this if i would want to give you a cheat code it is hypo in everything if we just remember it's hypochloremia hyponatremia hypokalemia hypocalcemia so it's all hypos with paradoxical aciduria okay so i hope you will never ever get this thing confused anymore and you don't need to even buy hard this okay so hope you found this video useful um like share and subscribe thank you